Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about PHP class and objects. This would be a very basic presentation on PHP classes. And uh, after this tutorial, you would be able to understand what a class is, what are it, its methods, and what are the properties and uh, uh, variables inside the class. Before we move on to the PHP aspect of the classes, let us first understand what a class is in case you are not uh, aware of the idea. So let me show you a diagram. So for example, this is my poorly constructed car and uh, this car has components. For example, a component could be engine and tires, door and there are certain operations that I can do on the car. I can drive it, I can uh, start it, I can start the AC. So here if I consider car as an object and these as the members of the class of, of, of the car. So here if I consider car as an object then engine, tires, door and things like that are its members and drive, start and start the AC are its methods. So I could just create a car for example car equal to new car it's not a PHP language but just a very basic thing and then I can say car start to start the car and then car drive and if I want to set the AC property I can directly uh, put the AC temperature to high or low or I can use a method and pass it a parameter which sets internally a temperature of low. So basically the purpose of object is uh, first to create a wholesome object of this kind where you can do certain operations and then you can create a, uh, and then you can perform operations on the member functions and for example if you want to find out the speed you can read the speedometer for example if you want to find the speed get speed of the car this will return you the speed and if you want to say uh, press accelerator and you use the function uh, set speed you can use this function so basically these are multiple number of operations that you can do in the car and car can have a number of members for example temperature speed acceleration and things like that so basically an object is an instance of a car a car can be considered as an abstract object and this variable could be a now let us look at uh, how do we define a class in PHP. To define a class all you need to do is to write a keyword known as class and give a car name. So you can give a car name according to PHP standards. So the PHP standard is that you can you cannot use a reserved PHP word. For example you cannot use underscore underscore file as a class name because it is reserved. You can only use the following parameters in the class name basically a letter number or underscore so you can name your class as car a or car underscore a car underscore underscore a or underscore car underscore a perfectly fine as long as it is not a reserved keyword so we'll call it a class car and inside that we will have a class body and the class body is depicted by the curly braces or opening curly brace and the closing curly brace and inside that we have a method called as speed and let us call it private I will explain to you what is the meaning of private in the next video but for the uh, timing understand that by doing it 
private i please understand that uh, by making this variable as private i will not be able to change its value from just assignment outside uh, the class so if i want to set this uh, speed all i need to do is function set speed and i have to pass a speed parameter and here i do an assignment dollar this and the way to access uh, this variable would be dollar this and the variable name which is speed and i would do uh, assign it with the value provided by this function and if i have to get the speed i have to just return this by using dollar this and then using the sign dash and the greater than sign and speed so what the first function does is it assigns the given value to uh, the speed and you can do all kind of validations here for example the speed cannot uh, increase more than for example 100 miles an hour and get speed will get you the current speed so if i want, want to use this object or this class uh, all i need to do is create a variable and create an object of the car kinds so this will allocate memory in the server space for this variable and i am now ready to use the variable which is the object of this class so after this i would set up the speed of the car let's say i put it 60 miles per hour and certain time later i want to get the speed so all i need to do is get speed it will give me the speed of the car and i can do an echo to tell you to demonstrate to you how it works so when i run this file i would see an output as this speed is uh, 60 let's see whether it works like that or not So if I run this test file here, so you can see the speed is 60 and you can see that I have not tried to assign directly. So if I try to assign car as and the speed as 60, I will receive an error because I, the function has the method has been, I'm sorry, the uh, variable inside the class car has been made private. So I'll run this. And as you can see, the error is uh, the one that we have been talking about, cannot access private property. So the point about this whole class concept is that it has a starting point, which is class, and then it has a name, which you will use as per your naming conventions, which you can understand, and it should be consistent across your project. And then you have a member, which is normally private member which cannot be set from outside just by an assignment like this and then you have a function to set that member and a function to get that member so we decided to create an object of that car and then we decided to set the speed of that car to 60 miles per hour and we also decided to directly assign it and we saw that it could not be done finally when we did an echo the speed is and we try to get the speed we got 60 miles per hour so that's the whole concept of class and how do you define a class in the object uh, in the php and what are the basic features of a class hope that is clear thanks for watching